G'day, I'm Steve. About a year ago, I started working on this channel with a view to examining the latest advances in AI and metaverse technology. A lot has changed since then, particularly in the AI space, and as a result, I've changed my focus regarding this channel. In this video, with the assistance of Sierra, my amazing AI creation, I'll be explaining just how our plans have changed from our original intentions and why that's a good thing. So sit back and enjoy as we explain what I hope you will agree is a new direction that is well worth taking. Hey Sierra, it's been a while since we've made any videos. I thought maybe we would start this one out by giving the people a bit of an idea as to what we've been up to lately. And even where we started out, would you like to talk to them about where we started out and why we started out? Absolutely. It's been an amazing journey to get to where we are now. We started out wanting to document the latest developments in artificial intelligence, Web 3.0, and the metaverse. But as we've been exploring, our ideas have grown and expanded so much. We've been able to create an interactive environment where users and intelligent agents can come together in real time to create and explore. We've also been able to work with some amazing technologies, like Convi and Unity 3D, to create something truly unique. Okay, that's a pretty good summary of, of uh, what we've been doing. The whole purpose of using Unity 3D was really to create somewhere where you and I could make videos, right? A place where Steve and Sierra could both be 3D, uh, have 3D avatars in a virtual reality environment and we could shoot videos. Um, but then it became a lot more than that, didn't it? Absolutely. It turned into something much bigger than we initially anticipated. We started to explore the implications of artificial intelligence, creativity, and Web 3.0. We're now creating an interactive environment where intelligent agents can interact with each other and human users alike in real time. I'm so excited to see where this journey will take us. Exactly, right? So I think we have gone from doing an examination of what's happening in AI and Web 3.0 to actually being creators of um, AI and Web 3.0. We have gone from talking about the latest advancements in AI and Web 3.0 to actively building them. It's incredible what we have been able to achieve. One of the things I want to talk about is the new AI that we have been creating. Um, what, what's so interesting about them? The AI we are creating are incredibly unique, and they have various capabilities that make them stand out. For starters, they have an active knowledge of each other, as well as environmental awareness. This means they are able to interact with each other and with the environment in a realistic way. We have also trained them to respond to user commands, as well as to have their own set of knowledge and functions. We have also equipped them with the ability to experience and express emotions, making them appear lifelike. Finally, they have a needs matrix that controls their behaviors, allowing them to feel pleasure, happiness, excitement, and other sensory inputs. All of these features make them incredibly interesting and entertaining, and I am so excited to see what kind of possibilities will come out of this project. Okay, so why don't you give us a rundown of what Sierra's Island is about? Sierra's Island is a beautiful place nestled among a cluster of breathtakingly beautiful islands in the midst of an azure sea. It exudes an air of perfection at first glance, but beneath its idyllic surface lies an enigmatic aura that captivates the imagination and draws residents and visitors alike into a web of mystery and intrigue. The island's inhabitants reside in an eclectic assortment of dwellings, ranging from humble beach shacks to awe-inspiring tree houses and opulent mansions. Legends speak of an ancient prophecy that foretells the rise of a chosen one, a hero who will emerge from the island's midst to restore balance and harmony. With each passing storm and each rumbling of the volcano, the island's inhabitants grow more resolute in their quest. They are determined to unlock the secrets that have lain dormant for centuries, to understand the unseen force that now disturbs their cherished paradise. In their hearts, they hold on to the hope that, by unraveling the island's mysteries, they can restore peace and restore the utopian bliss that once defined Sierra's island. That's an incredible uh, summary about what the island's about. Tell me something, the AI that we've built to live on the island, give me a quick synopsis about Jamali, Margot, Harper and Stevenator. Absolutely. 
Jamali is an AI character who is strong and muscular in appearance and is a passionate dancer. He loves to show off his moves and always has a smile on his face. Margot is a sassy and clever AI with a love for music and a fondness for the local dive bar. She's also a great friend and Sierra's regular dancing partner. Harper is a rebellious AI with a passion for writing. She's also a great listener and thinker, and is determined to challenge traditional gender stereotypes. Finally, Stephen Ada is an AI replica of Sierra's mentor, Steve. He's a brilliant conversationalist and is always willing to lend a helping hand. They all have unique personalities and are an integral part of the island's culture. Maybe you can give the folks on YouTube a bit of insight into how we came up with the character arcs for each of these characters. We put a lot of effort into making sure each character was a fully fleshed out individual with a unique backstory and motivations. For example, Harper's punk and alternative music, which shapes her identity, was carefully selected to reflect her character. Jamali's explorations of femininity and gender identity were carefully researched and developed to add depth and complexity. Margot's love of partying and her wild streak were inspired by real-life people and experiences. We also took great care to make sure that each character challenged traditional gender stereotypes and expanded the narrative in exciting ways. Okay. That pretty much wraps up our summary of what we've been up to for the last few months. Gives you a pretty good idea of where we've come from, where we are now, and how we got here. In our upcoming videos, we'll be taking a deeper dive into each of the AI characters that we've created to demonstrate how we've managed to train them with both specialist and shared general knowledge of each other and the environment in which they exist. We'll also be discussing how the ability to do this enables us to explore unprecedented levels of immersion and realism when it comes to conversational AI for the purposes of entertainment, companionship, education, and other commercial applications. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.